Look at that freak getting out of that car. Oh, bro, I forgot to get this back to you. When I've done your laundry. The salmon shorts. Oh, man, those look nice, those actually. Those are a little bit on the pink side. Whoa. Though. These are salmon shorts. These yeah, are that's big. salmon. That's good. I these that's not wild-caught salmon. Oh, that's wild-caught. Right. Wild yeah. salmon. That's right. <laughs> oh, Looks like great. Bret Hart with that color combination. Look at those calves. What's your calf routine? Don't do them? Never. I don't ever do calves. Never. All the best calf guys never did them. Matarazzo, Genova. Nope, never do them. I do like once a month. The style. That's it. Is his calves as good as yours? Because I really don't notice calves. No. Yeah. No. He needs a little calf. Shoes on top. Shoes on top. You look. <laughs> oh my god, Bill. You're gonna get us killed though. Oh no. I didn't know you were that outgoing. Come on now. What do you want, Bill? Let us know. What do you want? What am I on? What do you Weird want? Weird energy. What do you expect? There you go. See that? What type of new tropics and new tropics? New, new tropics, weird energy, plus two. <laughs> it was a matter of time anyway, Dale. Yeah, I believe that too. You know, you know what I think about is you, Cornelius, the Whoa. time boys in general. What? You, <laughs> you guys had your own channel. Oh yeah. It's always a possibility for me or Rob to scoot up there. Oh, you could have a ball up there. Cornelius was. He already gave y'all open invitation and shot. Cornelius tell you all the time come up there. I think you make train with. I think you make better progress for sure. And then you get to then you get to train with Cornelius' wife. Whoa. Nose will be twitching the whole time. Yeah, he told me the whole family, they all watch us together. Yeah, they do. We used to put the podcast on the gym and listen to it. His daughter does some crazy stuff. She's tough. She's going to be just like her dad. I'm telling you, mark my words, 10 years from now, maybe maybe less, she'll be in the X Games or Florida the Olympics. UFC maybe? Maybe. She's, she's, she's fierce, man. She gets them from him. It's the same way. Well, X Games for what? Rollerblading, skateboard. She does all kinds of stuff. Oh, wow. I've always told him he's the father of the year. He's a 
break that. You got enough sleep? Pardon? You got enough sleep? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Dude, that's one thing that man is automatic. Samurai, Samurai Jack's wife was with him. She wouldn't have been here. He would have came over with us. Now, you're talking about impressive, Lenny. That kid's impressive. It's unreal. I didn't realize his upper body strength was that great. Oh, yeah. Why is it that so many Asian guys are the best squatters? They're hard workers. I saw that Patrick David, you've seen him before, that guy does the pocket. Mm -hmm. He had an Asian guy on explaining why they're so successful. And they got to keep them out of schools because they, they make up the whole school, the college. So where a person says, I, I don't do, I'm not good at math. They figure, you can be good in anything. You just got to learn how to do it. Yeah, right. And they expect them to do good. And they do belittle their kids. They ridicule them. They call them stupid if they fuck up. They're not this, I'm your friend and that's okay. At least you tried. No, they want the man's success. And where's all the psychological trauma from that? We're not seeing it. Well, the best thing about him is, you know, he was adopted. He was in an orphanage when he was nine. They adopted him over. So now, from nine till now, he's he became an American citizen. But was he in an orphanage off. in the Philippines? Yeah, in the Philippines. I always tell him his daddy is Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> That's why he has such great genetics. I bet you they whipped his ass out there. And the cool thing about him is, too, I bet so you he works at the steel place story. I worked at. Yeah. So he's over there building, you know. But if you, you go there to, first, right? Yeah, I, yeah I, brought, I got him a job over there. But if you go in there and you watch, uh, if you go to Charlotte Douglas Airport, there's all these pipe extensions going on. He's actually one of the ones building it. Yeah. He moved up so he moved up that fast. He's doing the heavy labor. Mm -hmm. He works ten hours a day. And then goes and trains. Gets done training, goes home, does his cardio. If he does but a cardio, lot of people sleep. physically can't do that job, can they? No. Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. How old is he done? Twenty four. Yeah. Wow. I'll say being to 29, there's such a difference between your early and late 20s. It's in That's a fact. Sexually, too. Where'd you get your late 30s? Wait till you get to be 51. True. Yeah, but you're heavier now. Yeah, and everything, how everything broke down in your body. So, Brad, you don't, I'm sorry, uh, you don't ever get sluggish when you're bulking up? Yeah, I do. But, and, so my whole plan for now is I don't care nothing about turning pro. I want to compete. I want to compete to a bodybuilding trip because I love to do it. I just plan on staying lean. Staying lean, that way I don't have to die hard. I don't have to crash like I did. And coming in as ripped as I was at Ruby, but 230. I think I'd be a freak. If you what, what were you at the? What, what did you weigh at the last Ruby? The Ruby I did with Lenny. I was two. I weighed in two fourteen. Okay. So you, same thing, just a little bigger. Sixteen more pounds of muscle on me. But I cut. What I was two eighty seven. Two eighty seven when I come down here in April. Him and I were over there at Publix. We went on the public scale, and. Uh, so that's where it all started, right there, 287. As soon as I got home that following week, that's when I started dieting, started prepping. And it was Cornelius, first thing he done, he said, how am I gonna get this guy, he, he can lift the world, he can squat the world, how am I gonna break him? Put me on a half squat, time under tension. Two plates on each side, dropping it down slow, exploding up, down slow, exploding up. Second set, I said, I'll be right back. I walked into the bathroom, they had the door was stalled. I'm literally throwing up, dry heaving, can't get nothing to come out. I'm, I lay down beside the toilet, I'm laid out on the towel. This guy walks in, he looks down and goes, you know how many people would piss there today, you wouldn't be laying there. I, said, I don't even give a shit. <laughs> You're doing the Lenny principle, licking the bathroom floor. Almost. Cornelius walks in, he looks at me, he says, so we done? I said, no, I'm gonna finish, you just gotta give me a minute. That's 20 same. minutes later, I come out and I finished the work. Dale, did you ever quit anything? No. 
No, I'm, I'm not built that way, I can't. Yeah, I've never met anybody that once he sets his mind to something, he doesn't give up. No. It's like you said, challenging anywhere, anytime, no matter what he did, if it's an off day or not. Yeah. I mean, and, and now, coming from being at the, uh, hey, oh, other Travis, my bad. <laughs> Yo, you're a smooth operator. Smooth operator. How do you think I got my wife? How'd you get her? Where'd you meet her? I said, hey, what's up, Ty? I've known her since we were kids. God, Dale, yeah, that's... But you said it confidently. Were you confident even before your pre-gear days? Why not? You got it, want it, right? Oh, they're going to crucify me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that was an arrogant, cocky son of a bitch. All he did was go down there and try and show Lenny up. Try and make Lenny look bad. Oh, yeah, okay. That was good. I didn't mind. That was great. I actually told Brad, I said, I said, what I ought to do is run over there. When you turn around, jump back into the squat rack and start a squat. They go, Lenny, Lenny. And I said, yeah, knowing me, I just pull my quad or something. That'd be it. So I'm like, nah. We'll say that for next time. Boy, I was shocked. You have, have other people ride it, and then people say, Dave, it's like the same program. So this is Kyle, one part of his posing routine that we fixed. He just, he was like, yeah. this is where it was. So how do you know he was classic? I mean, so if he would have made the top 10 and they saw his routine, lights out. Unreal. It, I, I say that, I meant that 100%. I actually had a tear coming down my face when I was I wasn't watching him. I was watching him through the phone while I was recording it. And just like like Lee Labrada. When Lee Labrada would come up, yeah. he would look to his hands. Boom. He wasn't looking at the crowd. He was it was like poetry in motion. It was unreal. Lee That's was a high intensity was. guy. Yeah. What do you think about his son? Hunter? Future. All day long. He'll be a Mr. Olympia soon. So yes. That tiny waist, he's 265 with that small of a waist, man. It's unreal. I'm telling you, next two or three years, who's going to beat him? Bill Heath? No. no. Who's going to beat him? Rami? Rami's on his way down. Rami keeps coming in today. I bet you Rami won't win this year. Did you ever see Rami at one of the shows? No. No. So when I went to the Arnold, actually, it's the year right after Sean Roden won it. And I, I had to find it. I, I thought Sean Roden was this big old huge monster guy. He was small. I was like, I was blown away how small he was. Like short wise too. I thought he was like six five. He's short, five ten. Yeah, I kind of regret not going up there. Should have. It'd been fun. Yeah. He didn't even. He went. He didn't come to the show at all either. I didn't see him there. The moment he was you know, these guys want to punch him in the face the way he talks about people. Well, I mean, I mean, he really. The bad thing is he's in what stage five liver failure right now? Kidneys. Kidney kidney failure, that's right. Yeah. Well. So your mini vacation is coming to an end. Yes it is. You going to so you back up at three AM, six AM? Yeah, I'm gonna drive I'm gonna drive to Jacksonville now. Get a hotel room and uh, then I'm gonna get up probably four and Head the rest of the way to the house. This is pretty much one of the few times you actually go away from the family, right? Yeah. Okay. I had to come see my extended family in Delray Beach. Got to meet uh, Rob for the first time. I think I, I think I kind of showed him. You know, I don't know. He was kind of in awe. I he guess he didn't think I was going with this big. Well, Dale, I'm sure I can speak for the maniacs. You and your Cornelius, we'd like to see you guys more on film. 
love the Instagrams, the inspiration, the to, back yeah. and forth, but you know, you got a good story and I enjoyed watching it. We should you know, sadly with John going, we need some guy to fill in fill in the gap for him. Yeah, man, that was And I think he'd be the perfect one. Tragic man, him going. And then you know, you see people comments, that's what he gets for taking this and that. It's like you don't know what it like. So Joe Piatara talked about it today and somebody said something about colon cancer, a rare form of colon cancer. Well they had to remove his colon a few years ago. So that's what happened. And it was a very rare thing that happened over it. What I like about John Meadows is similar to me, the reason he's kind of bodybuilding was from watching the Road Warriors and looking at them in magazines at a new school. Especially Hawk. Yep. Oh yeah, old Road Warriors. But I gotta say, when I was growing up, best one ever, the Ultimate Warrior. Have you ever looked at him when he was on Mid South Wrestling in the early days? He was gigantic. You saying when he won Mr. Georgia? Yeah. That was impressive. Oh, yeah. Big, scary guy. He was, yeah, he's awesome. And he, another one died too young, man. 50 years old. So, when do you think we're going to see you again, Dale? Hopefully, uh, maybe September. Hopefully, we'll be up there. Yeah. Or when y'all come up. Yeah. Y'all more than welcome to come up anytime. I'll bring the Mustang out. Don't worry, it's automatic. Want to bring the Meow Man out there too? I'll get together. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get Lenny in that tree stand so I can pay him a thousand bucks. No thanks. Come on now, you just no gotta climb it. You ain't got to kill it. You just got to remember, you got to climb and sit in the stand. Okay. I'll pay you a thousand. If bucks. you got a blacker off in that stand, one of those nice I southern make that happen. freaks. Make that happen. Well, until next time, maniacs. Oh, yeah, yeah, buddy. I hate to see you go. Thanks for the inspiration. Oh, man, no I'm problem. serious. When I, hit, when I see you, I'm like, pick your brain, you give out all your good information. I, you know, I, I'm thinking about things. We're all giving me excellent information in for the legs. Me not dying, getting rid of this insulin, getting rid of this sluggishness. I'm not as sluggish anymore. You, you look you look a whole lot better, just like Brad and I were talking about when you were doing legs. Just from you, from two days ago, you look way This better. is a heal up phase, this is a way to get my fighting in order. But the size phase is gonna start January 1st for the Ruby. And then I'll do the insulin stuff. Whoa! You know. Did you hear it here first, Maniacs? Ruby 2022. Dale versus Lenny again. Round two. Well, this time, I'm going to be a super heavy. There's no, no ducking him now. Good. <laughs> He's going to be 